Hi guys, Marcia here. In today's video, I will show you how I painted the fire effect on this fireplace and the candles from our Silent Coin Tavern. As you see, it's a very simple and easy process that you can use for your minis. Let's do it! These are acrylic paints, a metallic color, black ink and the materials I used. Well, I will make the fireplace and candles in a simpler way, just like it was done in the tavern wood, using dry brush and wash. I put black and a gray, pale blue. I start by applying black through the stone region, and I will leave some without black to use pale blue and give a variation in color. But in the end it was so subtle that it made no difference. If you want to play with colors and make other stone tones, it can be really cool. Mixing pale blue with black gave another shade of gray, and at first it doesn't look very subtle. But I did the dry brush with the same color, so I erased what was stand out. Dark flesh tone color. This is a dark brown. I will apply it to the deer. I'm using blood red to start making the fire. Applying black to the horns. I mixed black with white to make a first gray dry brush, a half tone. I added more white to make the gray lighter and make the second dry brush. I'm going to use deep brown, which is a lighter shade of brown, to add more volume to the deer. I mixed white with deep brown to make it very light and make an outline in the eyes, inside the ears, and to apply to the neck as a color variation. I made a black ball in the eyes and I also applied black in the mouth and muzzle. I applied ochre brown to the fireplace wall. Now I'm going to mix yellow with blood red to create an orange. Looking at some references at fire has these variations of orange and yellow, sometimes white or dark red. And to give you an effect that is a light source, it is necessary that the interior of the fireplace is partly dark and partly illuminated. Then I gradually lighten the orange until I get to the yellow. I added white to ochre brown making it a very light beige, and I apply it diluted. This color is very diluted because I don't want to cover the ochre completely. This is the second coat. In the tavern wood, I used this ready-for-use wash, but I'm going to make a little mix here so as not to use it. I don't understand wash and there are a lot of recipes on the internet. I'm going to mix isopropyl alcohol, ultramate medium, black ink and a brown to reduce the intensity of black. I'm using dark flesh tone. The medium helps to reduce the setting effect of the inks. 
I'm focusing in just apply between the rocks. I'm darkening some tips, applying a little red and orange. Now, I'm adding yellow. I am applying black from the middle upwards inside the fireplace and orange gray from the middle downwards. Not an exact and well-defined line, but thinking that the flames will illuminate the inner wall, so an irregular shape for that. I took that wash that I put on the stone, added ultra mate medium, isopropyl alcohol, dark brown, and applied it to the wall to make it a little dirty. Applying black to the frame. I applied ochre, ochre mixed with white and mixed with dark flesh tone on the horn to highlight. I further reinforced the cracks in the wall and softened some stains. I also reinforced it with orange and yellow tones on the wall inside the fireplace. For the candlestick, I applied black on the metal part and dark brown on the candles. Now, the gun metal, metallic acrylic paint. I removed the excess paint, not as much as it would be for a dry brush, but something close. That way, when I pass the brush, it leaves more paint on the reliefs and gives it a more aged look. I will apply the color paint scent with dry brush. I apply pure white on some points, like corners, on the candle. Applying yellow, orange and red on the tip. That's it guys, here is the result. I hope you enjoyed the video and that this simple technique can help you paint fire at your means. Please don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell. Also, leave a comment below, we would love to hear your feedback. Bye bye!